In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an automatic backup of your worksheet when you open it. Many files that I work on have long period, long stretches of data, and sometimes you make changes and you'd love to know what the change was that you made. Now, you could go back to a previous version, but you've probably made other changes that you would like to keep. And so previous version isn't always the best of the best solution. So let's open up this file. And I've named it backup of worksheet. Now, here you have the sheet one and it has um, a little bit of data on it, but you have you have uh, a complete copy of it automatically made when you when you open up your sheet. Okay, so now the point is, is that, so if you made some changes, if you really wanted to change these all to two and three and all over the numbers, but then you made a change that you didn't want and you didn't want to lose all the other changes that you had, you could go back to the uh, backup and find out what the number was. So if we, um, if we change, let's say this one to 550 and then we change this to 1400, and if we change uh, that to uh, 900, okay, so then you're looking back at your data and you're thinking, ooh, what was that number before? Now you could go back and back and back, but you don't want to keep going back because you like, well, you want to keep the changes that you've made previously. So what we're going to do is we're going to go look on our, our backup for C, uh, C6 and what, see what the value was. And so we go to the backup and we go to C6 and it was 360. So now we can either type in 360 here or copy it over. And then we've made just the one change as opposed to going back and back and back and losing all the other changes that we have on the, um, on the worksheet. Now, when we close this file, it's automatically going to, unless we change it, or if we've totally ruined the sheet by changes we've made, we can rename the backup to sheet one. But unless we do that, it's going to, it's, when we close it, it's going to delete the backup. So I go to file and I go to close. And it's asking me if I want to save the changes and I'll say, sure. Okay, and now once again, if I go and I go file open, if I go open and then I go uh, backup of worksheet, there you have my sheet and here's a backup of the, the new worksheet that we have going here. So let's look at the code and how I did this. The code is located on, uh, because it, it um, is activated when the work should, the worksheet is open. You need to actually go to the workbook as opposed to add a module. So let's open up, double click on the workbook. And you see I have two little pieces of script here. Um, the first one is private, private sub workbook open, and then backup as a worksheet, sheets one copy. Now you, in your case, you would name your uh, sheet one to whatever your first sheet was called, and it's going to be copy after sheets. So it's the last sheet that it's going to put on there. And active sheet name equals back to backup. Uh, and then it's going back to activate your, your first sheet. Now, here we go for when you're going to close it. Um, private sub uh, workbook before close. Cancel as Boolean. Application display alerts equals false. Sheet backup delete. Application display alerts true. And so, so that works pretty well. So if you're if you are always losing data or sometimes you can't remember what changes you did somewhere back in the list, you now have a backup copy to save your data and save your save your mind when you're trying to figure things out. This is how you make an automatic backup of your worksheet when you open it. Please subscribe.